Hi, I'm Garvin DeShazer, and today we'll be hearing about one man who discovered that the motivation for doing a thing is often more important than the act itself. Enjoy, because this is your daily inspiration. Born and raised in London, England to Nigerian parents, Alex Boy was a bold, high-spirited kid. Alex never knew his father, who remained in Nigeria, and was raised solely by his mother, who worked for an underground transit system. At 11 years old, Alex's mother told him that she was going back to Nigeria for three weeks. Eight years later, she had never returned. Throughout his teen years, Alex was shuffled from one foster care home to another. He felt alone, abandoned, and misunderstood. At age 16, he was thrown out of foster care and onto the streets. I remember wandering the streets of London. I was homeless, and I had nowhere to stay, he said. The only help I had was when I opened up and said to my higher power, I can't do this on my own. I need your help. As Alex began praying and listening and searching for a clue about the purpose in his life, one answer that came to him was music. I was about 18 when I started getting serious about singing, he says. The emotion was in me, and I felt like it just needed to come out. A couple of friends and I entered this dance singing contest, and we won, he said. We got a chance to secure a recording contract. The record company was just this little one room with a fax machine, a telephone, and an 8-track. But we made the most of it. Alex and his friends started writing songs and performing, but they soon outgrew the one-room record company. We found a manager who introduced us to Universal Records in England, he said. We ended up in this huge high-rise building with marble tables. They played our CD, and they said, yeah, we love your stuff. And just like that, we were signed. That's when things started really going crazy. The band quickly sold over 500,000 albums, making the top 10 charts across Europe. They performed with artists such as Simon and Garfunkel, MC Hammer, and George Michael. Although living what many would consider the ultimate lifestyle, making money, traveling the world with endless excitement and entertainment, Alex found something wanting, something missing. I had this dream of being a musician, but it was taking me down a road that led somewhere I didn't want to go, he said. So he shifted his focus. He began sharing his music in prisons, senior living homes, even asylums. I learned so much about music and the world, he says, there are lots of young people that don't understand about the power of music and how it can affect our personalities, our thoughts, our character, and especially our spirituality. Now the father of five children, Alex Boy aims to spread this message to the next generation. I believe that we become what we think about the most, he says. Back in the day, I used to do the boy band thing so I could get girls and so I could get rich. And that never brought me any happiness and never any joy. But now I look at music and I use it for something other than just myself. I put out a CD a while back, he said, and later someone from California called me and said he was getting ready to commit suicide. But... Then he heard this song, my song, a song of hope, and decided he wasn't going to end his life, he says. I believe that music heals the soul, he says. That is what I want to be a part of. You know, we often talk about the importance of choosing to do the right thing, to make choices about what jobs to take, whether to start a family, what hobbies we pursue. While those choices are often vital to shaping the direction of our lives, we hear less about our motivation for doing each of these things. Alex Boy began singing in the hope of getting girls and making money. 
He later chose to sing with the intent of connecting to others and expressing his soul. The latter turned out to be a much happier and more fulfilling choice. Now, to be clear, our motivations for doing the things we do are no one's business but our own. Sometimes we have children because we hope they will be a source of love for us. Sometimes we take that job not for the inherent reward in the work or the joy of serving others, but because of the prestige and status it brings. It's our choice, and we're the ones who have to live with the consequences of our choices. And yes, sometimes our choices do negatively affect others. But ultimately, it's just smart to be aware of our reasons for doing the things we do. It's kind of a to-thine-own-self-be-true thing. Then, as we gain that awareness, we can learn from it. When we choose to live our lives consciously, rather than to act blindly, we can begin to find real purpose and joy. What can you do to be more aware of the motivations for the things you do? What past choices have you made for motivations that never brought you happiness or joy? What might you do to apply that knowledge now and make a wiser and happier choice? Will you say, I am capable of living aware? I am interested in real joy. And I am choosing wisely today. Thanks for listening. May your day be filled with love, laughter, and joy. Bye for now. Hi, this is Scott, producer for the Daily Inspirations podcast. We hope you're enjoying these stories, and if you'd like more inspiration in your life, visit MyDailyIAm.com. You can find weekend blog posts, sign up for our email update list, and you can let us know about an inspirational story you'd like us to cover. Or just say hi. We'd love to hear from you.